What's up, my friends? Today, we're gonna to be discussing reverb, and I'm gonna be using the new Hall of Fame 2 by TC Electronic, but you can be sure that most of the points I'm making when I'm talking about settings and different parameters of reverb will apply to whatever reverb pedal that you use or plug in for that matter, so keep that in mind as we move along. And let's get into the first type of reverb that I think we should talk about room reverb. Now when pedals and plugins are trying to emulate a room reverb, it is literally a different room and the size of the room as well as the construction, whether it's like concrete or wood, that is going to be what differentiates various pedals. So we can really hear the smallest room all the way up to the largest room. So we're going to start here, which is basically like a bathroom. And then maybe we're going to get into a gymnasium. Who knows? Let's find out. I'm going to start with just a dry setting, loop that with my handy Ditto X4 looper, and then I'm going to go ahead and manually control the knob so you can hear how we move from one tiny little room to one great room. <laughs> So as you can see, we went through many different rooms there, didn't we? And if you notice there at the end, this is a cool thing about the TC pedals. They have this mash feature, which is basically like a built-in expression pedal. So when you are getting that real heavy wash, like we were getting towards the end there, you can actually mash down and it's sensitive. So if I have like half mash, then it'll only partially remove that wetness, but if I mash it all the way down, it can actually pull out most of that reverb so you can kind of do a lead thing over top. Really neat. So room reverb is really useful if you're going for like that garage sound, that lo-fi sound, or of course a more organic ambient sound. Let's move on to the next type of reverb that I'm going to talk about today, which is spring reverb. So spring reverb is a really distinct type of reverb that you kind of associate with, or at least I do, with the Fender Twin amplifier. So it's usually associated with guitar amps in general, but it has this real bouncy effect, like a spring bouncing type thing. It has a real cool resonance to it. So spring reverbs are actually really great for vocals and woodwinds, but especially guitar. Let's test it out.
So as you can hear there, spring reverb is a real kind of vintagey, dirty sound. I really like spring reverb on clean or distorted guitars. So definitely consider using spring reverb when you're going for more of like a bluesy, usually single guitar. I did have it on a loop there with both guitars getting that effect. Uh, so it can work with two guitars, but usually uh, a one guitar part with like a bluesy, raunchy sound is the sweet spot for the way I like to use spring reverb. And as you can tell, it can get real wet depending on how much decay or wetness you dial in. The next type of reverb I'm gonna talk about is plate reverb. And this is similar to spring reverb in that it's a man-made reverb effect. It's usually the sound hitting a piece of metal or something like that, metal. Uh, I wanna say that plate uh, is typically used on vocals and maybe snare drums, but it can also have a really cool effect on guitar sounds. <laughs> So, plate reverb is also a very useful type of man-made effect. Again, I want to emphasize that it's not a naturally occurring type of reverb. So that's the cool thing about guitar pedals and plugins. You can do stuff that emulates real world sounds, but isn't necessarily real. And as I said, it's kind of a more natural sounding spring reverb, maybe a more modern sounding type of spring if you don't like that bounciness of the spring maybe consider using a plate because it still gives you those really cool reflections in the sound waves and doesn't necessarily return it back the way a room or a chamber would where it's just kind of a wash. It returns it in sort of a reflected, like it's hitting off of a metal surface. So those types of reverb that we've gone over, the room reverb, spring, and plate, those are the three kind of essentials, if you will, regarding using reverb to mix and as well using it on your guitar. And those are also the types of reverb that you'll find across multiple reverb pedals, not just in the TC Electronic Hall of Fame. But with that said, let's move along to some of the unique kind of reverbs that we have access to with this awesome pedal. So I'm going to show you a couple different ones. Let's check out the SHIM, which I believe stands for Shimmer. I have an idea of what this might do, but I'm excited to find out.
Whoa, that's really cool. Shimmering, very cool to be able to use that mash function. Obviously I'm doing this on a table with my hands. Normally I'd be using my feet, so it'd be a little bit easier, but you get a sense for this really neat function. And I think this is only in certain TC pedals that the mash feature, maybe the newer iterations like the Flashback 2 uh, comes to mind. But again, definitely check out these TC pedals. I'm gonna show you one more cool thing about these uh, that I think you would be interested in. You can actually do this thing called a tone print where you can download things from your phone. And these are patches that other guitar players have made and you can beam them. It's called beaming from your phone and you put it up to your active pickup and it communicates through the pickup into the pedal. Let's, uh, let's check out what we have for the Hall of Fame 2 as far as tone prints go. As you can see here, I can choose by artist or by product. So I have the Hall of Fame down there at the bottom. And Hall of Fame 2, I'll click on that. And it looks like these are the artists so far who have contributed their tone prints. I'm going to check out Mark Lidieri from Snarky Puppy. Let's see what he came up with. I think we got it. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Great work, Mark. Very cool. I don't want to say I'm surprised. I had an awesome time meeting the folks at TC Electronic. Obviously, this isn't a sponsored video, despite all the fanboyism. I just really, really dig this technology. Uh, I think it's a really cool way to interact with artists that most of us are never going to get to meet. It's like, hey, you can either buy a signature pedal or a signature guitar, which a lot of people can't really afford to do, or you can get this one pedal and have access to all these different amazing artists. So the app, if you want to check it out, it's actually free. Um, it is called the Tone Print app, one word, and you can like download it and go on there and see which artists did tone prints for which pedals. And then uh, just, you know, maybe that'll help you decide if you want to get a new pedal, which one you want to get. And I know there's a few with like John Petrucci and all these really cool guitar players. So I want to say thanks for watching and I hope this kind of expanded your horizons uh, regarding the topic of reverb and what it can do for your guitar and what the different types of reverb are like. And until next time, guys, keep shredding.